you have to find something that you really, really want to do, especially if someone tells you you can't. So if someone says you can't do that, then that makes you want to do it more. Then you found the thing that's, that you're passionate about. And as a student, you're drilling a tiny little oil well all over the place, you're not going to strike oil. But if you sort of investigate something that you're really interested in, you dig down, you'll probably hit something interesting that, that's, that's below the surface. My name is Matthew Schofield. I'm the creative director at Rocket Science. I've been doing this for over 20 years. Started in film and then moved to television because it became the equivalent of film. Television is now competing with film. Part of it was my time at OCAD. My trajectory at school was I started in drawing and painting and I went into interdisciplinary art and I went back to drawing and painting. So I got to try a bunch of things at OCAD and some of my friends worked in this industry, the film industry, which I knew nothing about. And I uh, went to the UK to work on a Superman project, I worked on many projects, including Scott Pilgrim and a few Guillermo del Toro projects, which were a lot of fun and really challenging. Those are the ones that sort of hit me close to the heart, the ones that I wanted to go and see and enjoyed watching. We are collaborative. We're working together. We're working towards something and we get to work as a team, which is really fun. But if you want to satisfy another itch, it's really good to have your own creative practice. We went to school for art and like I wanted to be an artist. So I still think that my voice is a different thing that, get, that I want to uh, express elsewhere. We're at the Koffler Gallery right now. I'm part of this exhibition, part of a show called Decade. I'm one of eight artists in the show, and it represents a, a, probably about a decade's worth of work. If I went all the way back to OCAD, one of the things that I, I was exploring there uh, was what tells a story, what happens in a painting that will bend you to think a certain way. I, I started to question the idea of what a gesture or stroke is, or how big something can be and still be retained as an image. The scale of a photograph was, was tactile and visceral because it's exactly the size it is. So that's the thing I started to match when I was painting photographs. How much you can get out of that little space and how much power you can hopefully put into it through brushwork. When you worked with film, it was, it was a kind of a precious thing to, to take a picture because you, you had to plan it, take it, wait for it to be developed and then look and see if it had value. But I kind of like that investigation of looking at this object that was kind of anachronistic, reinvestigating re it and painting it in a contemporary light. You can expand it and expand it and expand it as long as someone can see it through a lens and take it, you can investigate it. And then if you end up spending 8, 10, 15, 20 hours looking at something, you start to notice subtleties. You start to notice where people stand next to each other. You start to notice objects in the room that so suggest socioeconomic level. You start to notice what people are interested in when they take a photograph. I graduated from OCAD in 1997. I don't think I would have ever got to where I am without that sort of support network that you meet and that group that you meet in an environment like that. And I think they're always trying to evolve. I really appreciated the studio time that I had, the scale of the studios that we had when we were there. But I think the connections that you make are, are hopefully a lifelong thing. The career that I developed was from the two people that I met in school. The first shows that I had were from people that I met there. They were the ones who thought I could do this, which was amazing. The network of the people that I just mentioned were the ones that created those spaces to, to, to have, a, have a place to develop and get excited about and, and be a part of.